everyone, it's Josh with the Albuquerque Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how I can move a red paperclip using only my mind. Check this out. Watch close. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but actually it's not spooky mind magic, it's science, and I'm about to teach you how. So, what we actually are building today is called a Cartesian diver that plays on the principle of buoyancy. Here's how you do it. So the first thing you're gonna need is an empty, clear water bottle or soda bottle. You're gonna also need some scissors, some bendy straws, paper clips, and a cup filled with water with an open top. All right, once you have all that, start off with your bendy straw and extend the bendy part just like this. And we're gonna fold it right in half. Once you folded it in half, we're gonna go down about half an inch and cut it off with scissors, leaving you with a little U-shaped bendy straw. Now, once you have this, you take your paper clips and you can design this however you want. I like to just do the simplest version, which is stick your paper clip through the little holes on each side. And these are gonna act as weights. And so now you have a successfully working Cartesian diver. Next, you take a cup of water and we wanna make sure it floats barely on the top of the surface where it almost looks like it's gonna sink, but it doesn't quite yet. So it should look a little something like this. Excellent. Now, if it's floating too high and too much of the straw sh is showing, just trim it down until you have more weight at the bottom, it pulls it down. Or if it sinks directly to the bottom, try using a larger straw. Once you have that, you're basically ready to go. You take your empty water bottle and fill it all the way to the top of the water. In this case, I already did that. You take your Cartesian diver, place it inside the water bottle. Screw the cap on and squeeze. And it should sink and rise with pressure. So what's actually happening here? Let me teach you some science. When we squeeze the water bottle, it compresses the air inside the diver, making it smaller, causing it to sink. It becomes negatively buoyant. When we release that pressure, it rises back up to the top. And that's how a Cartesian diver works. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and share it with all your friends. We'll see you guys in the next STEM video. Thanks.